Welcome to the Design Master Electrical video tutorial series. This series will show you how to start a new project, use alignment points in your drawings, create and manage panels and other distribution equipment, generate and modify a one-line diagram, create light fixtures and receptacles, circuit devices, create and circuit equipment connections and switches, and perform point-by-point -point photometrics. If you'd like to follow along, links to the written tutorial and project files can be found in the description at the bottom of this page. This video covers light fixtures and receptacles. Topics include creating the devices, inserting them on the drawing, making changes to existing devices, and inserting and modifying the project schedules. Let's get started. We'll start by looking at light fixtures. The commands dealing with light fixtures are all located in this column on the ribbon. Commands are laid out the same way for receptacles, equipment connections, low voltage devices, switches, and junction boxes. Most devices are created using the project schedule command for the device type. Press the new button to create a light fixture, which we'll call A1. Once it has been created, we can enter information about the light fixture and select a block. Press the Select Block button and select the 1x4 recessed block. Set the input VA to 50. Then press the Save button. Here, we've created a second fixture named A2, which uses the 2x4 recessed block and has input VA set to 100. Press the Save button and close the dialog box. To insert light fixtures and most other devices, use the Insert command for the device type. Here, you can select the light fixture to insert, set the elevation and layer system, whether the fixture is included in energy calculations, and additional information used for point-by-point -point photometrics, which will be covered in Part 7. You can also press the Edit button to make changes to the selected fixture in the schedule. Select Light Fixture A1 and press the OK button. Specify an insertion point and rotation angle for the fixture. Place as many fixtures as you need, then press Enter to finish the command. Light fixtures, as with most devices, can be modified using the AutoCAD Move and Copy commands. We can make changes to the devices on the drawing using the Query Device command. We'll modify this light fixture. Set the callout from A1 to A2 and press the OK button. The light fixture is updated on the drawing automatically. You can also make changes to several devices of the same type using the Edit Multiple command for the device type. To insert the project schedule for devices of the same type, use the Insert Project Schedule commands. This dialog box works the same way as the calculation schedules covered in Part 2. Check the Show Unused Light Fixtures option. If this is unchecked, only light fixtures that have been inserted on the drawing will appear in the schedule. Press the OK button to insert the schedule on the drawing. When changes are made in the project, the schedule must be updated. Run the Light Fixture Project Schedule command Create a new light fixture named A3 and close the dialog box. To show this new fixture on the schedule, run the Insert Light Fixture Project Schedule command again. And the schedule will show the most recent information. To make changes to the schedule itself, run the Insert Light Fixture Project Schedule command again. 
and press the Edit Title, Column Labels, and Column Order button. Here, you can set whether each column is displayed, the column heading, and its width and justification. On the Symbol row, set the column heading to Graphic. Then, for Quantity, uncheck the Display box. Press the OK button, then the OK button again, and the schedule will be updated to reflect the changes. Receptacles are created the same way as light fixtures, using the Receptacle Project Schedule command. Press the New button, and enter Duplex for the receptacle type. The block is already set to duplex, so this receptacle is complete. Here, we've made a second receptacle named Quad, which uses the Quad Receptacle block. We've also changed the load information for this receptacle. The load will be displayed as Quad Receptacle, and the connected load is set to 0.36. Save your changes and close the dialog box. Placing receptacles on the drawing is similar as well. Run the Insert Receptacles command. Select Duplex and begin placing them on the drawing. If necessary, you can use the AutoCAD Move and Copy commands while placing your receptacles. You can also use the Query Device and edit multiple receptacles commands to make changes to receptacles on the drawing. Receptacles also have a similar process for inserting, updating, and modifying the project schedule. This concludes part four of the electrical video tutorial series. In the next video, we'll cover circuiting devices.